message to you fellow Nigerians out there um, it's a fainting season and it's an accusation season and it's a season where they are saying turn off your mic it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay but this has been going on for a very long time and it's really really sad that those who have supposedly been elected into positions of authority supposedly in quotes because you and I know that a lot of these guys do a lot of runs behind you know to get to those positions where they are and that is why they have been mismanaging the wealth of the nation what is going on in the NDDC right now is just a little fragment of what is going on across other government parastatals across the nation, Nigeria. And it's really sad. And I can't help but watch in disbelief and in utter disgust and displeasure for what is happening in Nigeria. It's almost as if it's a curse to have been born in that country. It's almost as though it is a plague to call yourself a Nigerian because you have so many natural resources abundant resources you have the human capital you have the potentials but very few people certain people have just sat down and decided that this country will not move forward and they have held the country hostage for so many years we hear stories of how the country was back in the days oh nigeria was this oh the dollar was this to a naira the naira was this to the pound oh it was this money it was this, it was that. We hear all those stories from these same old men who are in power. And the truth about it is you and I, the younger generation, have never occupied any position, any political position or any leadership position in the country. It's these men who from the 50s and the 60s and the 70s have been in power till date. And the country has gone from good to bad to worse, under their eyes, under their watch. So please, let's be careful who you support. Because the truth about it is, these guys don't even care about you. They don't care about you and I. It's all about their pocket. And they still don't understand that no matter how much you amass, no matter how much you steal, no matter how much you gather, no matter how much you embezzle, once you die, you die. You are gone. You can't carry any of those monies anywhere. No matter how much power, no matter how much influence, no matter what position you've occupied, the only thing that leaves, that remains when you die, or when you are buried, after you leave this earth, is the legacy, the impact that you have had on humanity and in your country. The late Abakiari. Where is he? With all his power and all his influence and all his wealth. Late Governor Ajimobi, where is he? With all his power and his wealth. Where is Abacha? With all his power and his wealth. Where, where are they? They are nowhere. So, you think you can embezzle? Embezzle, no problem. When we ask you questions, faint, no problem. When we ask you questions, point accusing fingers, no problem. Last, last, every single person... It's going to be called one day. God will call you and you will leave this earth. And all those monies that you have stolen and that you have kept somewhere, you can't go anywhere with it. You die, they wrap you in white cloth and put you inside the grave and you've embezzled billions of naira. You die, they put, they, even if they put you inside gold casket, now still inside ground, you go enter. So what are you, what are you running up and down for? A word, they say is enough for the wise. 2023 is coming. We are watching. 